Attention Las Cruces, we have to make room for the huge semi-truck full of merchandise. The Las Cruces Club Store's low, low wholesale prices have been slashed 10 to 25% off store-wide. You'll find brand names, fashion, housewares, linens, groceries, bikes, top quality furniture and more. Don't wait with enormous savings of up to 95% off the big store prices. You can't lose. Come early for best selection. Hi, welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. And I'm Michael Mandel. And we're here with uh, the perfect vodka martini. The perfect? What is a perfect you vodka know, martini, Michael? People think that perfect means that there could be nothing wrong with it or that it's the per you know, if you have the perfect vodka. Is there a perfect vodka? Well, Only what you like. No, and it's not a brand called Perfect Vodka. So. Not yet, but that's an idea. <laughs> the perfect vodka long. martini is considered perfect because you have an equal balance of both types of gin. You have the sweet vermouth and the dry vermouth. You just said gin, and you meant to say oh, vermouth. I meant to say vermouth. And also, whenever I say gin, we're talking vodka. We usually do... We're not used to having vodka martinis. It's but always We're just gin. doing this. It's the beginning of the year. It's a, a fresh start that's because right. vodka is about the freshest alcohol you can get. Has no Pretty additives. Much. It's, it's pure. Di distillation, pure. It's how you make scotch. It's how you make gin. It's also how you make. You've got to start with something. Mm -hmm. and vodka oh, is so it. we're going to start with this. I'm going to give you the choice. I, I brought three uh, different uh, vodkas, some that I had left. Uh, Black Sea vodka would be the most unique since it's from Estonia. Got an earthy feel. It's more uh, quirky. And um, it's an old Russian distilling uh, process. These are all made with grain spirits. There's That's not potato vodka, though. It's it? not potato vodka. Russian vodka is generally not potato even though everybody thinks it is. Right. You can get it, but that's not the main there thing. There is. I was going to bring a potato vodka, but that screws up your whole palate. Yeah. It has much more flavor. The eyes have it. The, the eyes have it. Yes, you're spot on. Um, the classic uh, vodka that everybody thinks is the best is not perfect. Arguably. The best. Arguably. Grey Goose vodka. They have the best bottle, maybe. Well, people say it's the best. <laughs> In vodka's life, that means no flavor at all. Um, and level vodka, which when we had an earlier tasting about four years ago, uh, we thought level and Ciroc mm. won. Mm. Well, they're both, they're both fine vodkas, and I'm sure these are all fine vodkas. Okay, close your eyes and pick one by name. Which one do you want to do? Well, let's start with Black Sea. We're not going to do many. We're just going to do one. Oh. And, then, and then we're going to have a special oh, yes. second, second act. Second act after the But we could do break. Black Sea. I've never tried Black Sea. Okay, well, let's do that. I, I selected it. You want a little shot of that first, then? We'll try it. We'll try it. It's cold. Raw, just to see what makes it so special. Okay. Anything. So I'm well, doing... It smells clean. It is clean. It's like the fresh smell you get when standing on the shores of Estonia. So we're going to do an ounce and a half of vodka. You're making a face. No, it's a good face. It's a good face. Oh. I got plenty of comments on Chloe's face uh, from our Christmas show. Do they like her face? Well, because she's so expressive when she drinks. Well, she's got a cute face. Yes, yeah, it works, that. unlike us. Um, or me, you, you have a cute face. Um, a so quarter of this. I like the Black Sea. Never haven't tried it before. It's is it available a, in stores? Yes, if your store is Trader Joe's. Oh. I think it's an exclusive Trader oh. Joe's. The closest one here vodka. is in Albuquerque. Yes. There's two of them up there, and there's another one in Santa Fe. Uh, yes, and there's one in, there's two in Tucson. So I'm using a Martini and Rossi dry vermouth. I'm using a classic Cinzano uh, sweet Rosso vermouth. sweet vermouth. So we're mixing the sweet vermouth and the dry vermouth together to yes. formulate the perfect martini. The perfect. And the perfect is just because you're using equal amounts. Don't think we're saying anything's perfect. Everybody's perfect. What? Um, all right. Okay. What do I do? You top? got them all three mixed. Yes. I'm, well, they're not mixed. I'm mixing them here. We have right. no ice in here, but that vodka should be cold enough. All right. So we're gonna try this for the first time on television, by the way. The yes, perfect we've never done. Never our, been tried. We've never done our perfect martini here. And if we haven't done it, nobody's done it. No, but uh, my wife did get the uh, bartender at Red Lobster to make her a perfect martini, and the reason was. Mm -hmm. Couldn't make a Negroni. <laughs> so, uh, so if, if this satisfies somebody who likes Negroni's taste buds, this looks about the color. Hmm. 
Well, the um, mm. sweet vermouth does overpower the drink. Well, I think with black sea, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. Yeah. This could use, what could this use? A twist of lemon or something. Yes, I agree. Okay. I agree. A twist of lemon. Didn't, didn't <clears throat> If you've watched the show at all, you know that food and drink is our favorite topic. And we usually start the show off with some sort of a drink. Today it's the perfect Sometimes we eating. finish it off with a perfect <laughs> drink. Or sometimes it finishes off, us off. We're, we're going to do a special surprise variation uh, after the break, which is it about now, I think. <laughs> it? No, no. Uh, that, have we spent enough time, time doing this thing? Quickly, yes, my, yeah, but um, <clears throat> one thing we do have to talk about. <clears throat> oh, it, speaking of best or yes, perfect, yes, perfect. You know, we're, we're saying that there is no uh, well, value to perfect. The Las Cruces Sun News uh, puts out their yearly readers poll, and uh, this year they did it a little bit differently. They asked people to, to write in nominations in all these categories. I think they might have done it this way last time. Restaurants and what? Too, well, who and knows? Everywhere people do business around town, whether it's. Uh, Funeral homes or insurance or... Three funeral homes. Key uh, makers. Thousands of insurance people. Insurance, chiropractors, you name it. Nail salons and lots of restaurant listings. Um, and so then people would write in their nominations and they p would pick... Don't look at what I'm two doing Two or three, usually three from each category. And now the readers are expected to vote on one. Makes it easier. And then they, that one then is chosen as the best in Las Cruces. And it's chosen by the Sun News. So the, I mean, we have our own opinions because, as you know, if you watch the show, we always have opinions on restaurants and foods. Mm -hmm. And a lot of this whole yes. first page is pretty much different types of restaurants mm -hmm. as well as nightclubs. And you're mentioning the uh, Boots and Bourbon. We, I finally got into that building. I've never been in there, even that's when it was uh, Graham Central Station or whatever was before uh -huh. that. What was before that? That's one of three nightclubs listed here. Yes. Um, it's a Dicks. pretty big place. Yeah. Whiskey Dicks, I went to because you don't have to make a decision. You're in Whiskey Dicks. That's it. It's a uh, country western bar. And, and they call Halos a nightclub. Halos Could you wants to be a nightclub, yes, because they want people. There's a room in the back where you dance, there's a room in the front where you drink, and there's a room outside where you smoke Halo stuff. Oh, like vaping and things like that? Yeah. Or cigars or what have you? Not cigars. It's the you know, little hookahs. With, oh, they uh, have that. They, they have, have those set up. And it's an interesting place. Okay. You know, wh what would be your criteria to choose the best nightclub? I guess the thing that has the most continuous fun. Well, for the people who choose these, they choose the ones they go to the most often, or the employees and the owners write in and choose. Yeah. Oh, well, you know it's a good one that we forgot? Palacios. Palacios. Palacios is mostly a bar, but on weekends it's a great nightclub. It's, <laughs> it's like a small version of uh, Boots and Bourbon. They've expanded into an outdoor patio in the front. Have you noticed that? That's true. And on, on one Tuesday night a month, it's a poetry nightclub. Starting in March. <laughs> oh, you've been on hiatus? Yes. Starting, starting in March. I've been on low hiatus. Low hiatus. And so, <clears throat> you know, this is, this is, of course, basically just a, a marketing ploy for the Sun News itself. And then it becomes an advertising opportunity for those who are selected in these categories. But many people around town who don't know town, because, you know, we've been here for eons, and some people are moving in. As you know, we have a lot of uh, newbies, and many of them are retirees, and they're living up in uh, Sonoma Ranch. To come down into town to explore is not considered the thing to do, so they ask around <laughs> Where do to I see go? what's good. Where do this I is eat? a good place to, to see what's good. I mean, everything that has been suggested is uh, pretty much a safe bet. What they say about hamburgers? Dave's, Dave's hamburger. Hamburgers, Dick's Cafe, and the game. No, well, that's not bad. Game. Well, there's two games. One is in Oma Ranch and one they down on one University. And two. Yeah, one and two. Actually, there are many best hamburgers. In fact, notice there are no chain restaurants in this. Oh. One of the better hamburgers is uh, Ruby Tuesday's Triple Prime. I really, I find that hard to believe. You don't eat meat? I don't eat a Ruby's. Ru oh, Ruby Tuesday's. I'm sorry. I thought you said Rudy's. <laughs> Rudy's oh, no, Rudy's. Oh, do, do they list barbecue places? Yes, they do. Well, they have Rudy's in there? I can't find we it. We have a lot of barbecue places in town. Um, Here it is. Ranchway Barbecue. That's always a classic. Rudy's Country Store and Dick's Cafe. Well, okay. No, I didn't know you Dick's did You could clearly barbecue. say that Dick's Cafe had a... Uh, uh, a lot of people wrote push. in who worked there. <laughs> well, a lot of people did. You know, Dick's Cafe used to be one of the best places in town. One, maybe at one time. Yes. They're also listed as best hamburger. Where else? Um, 
Well, there's a lot of places with good hamburgers. But anyway, you wouldn't know about that. Anyway, the deadline is passed for in which you can uh, send in your own choice to it pick was the yesterday. best in every category. Yes. Uh, maybe next week we will tell you uh, who won out of all these. Well, January you know, 28th, we, we will see the results. And those of you who are dying to get into a uh, funeral parlor, wait till we tell you which is the best of the three. <clears throat> well, the three in town, were, were, of course, were picked. <laughs> yes. Well, one of them has got to be the best. Nick and this Tony's. Is the best. So. Nick and Tony's. Uh, you stab them, we slap them. Easy, easy burial. Right. So <clears throat> that's something to look forward to if you read the Sun News online or in the actual paper as I do. You're you so old school. Yes, I like it. Because, you know, uh, the trouble with doing uh, the crossword puzzle online is you have to wash off your screen afterwards. So, you know, how to get coupons and, and uh, you know, supermarket flyers online. First of all, you can get supermarket flyers online. And what uh, places like Albertsons and uh, Natural Grocers, they're doing uh, things for your phone where you have to go to the supermarket and show take them a picture. Their phone. Yeah. Either show them the phone or take a picture <coughs> of the deal. Well, if I if I look at the Sun News online and there's coupons for things, why should I use my printer and my ink to download those coupons? Because you don't know how to use your printer is one reason. Why should I even have to do that when they're free in the newspaper? Well, that's true. Oh, but if you have a, a smartphone, you don't need to uh, print them out. You take your smartphone yes. and you uh, scan the product and then bring it to the cashier. That's how it works. I saw people You're not good on the uh, comp the phone either. I saw people doing that with their airline tickets in El Paso. All right, they do. And what happens is uh, y y you want to make sure your battery's not going to die before you get there. <laughs> That's right. Can I plug in someplace, Wait please? a second. I just took a picture of my shoe. Um, yes. So uh, that's one of the things about uh, the best of. You know, seafood. Everybody complains about seafood in town. Yeah, that one really is strange, isn't yes, it? Yes, because so they... who's there again? Uh, Delicious Del Mar, which is pretty good. Yeah, That's on uh, El Paseo. What else? Uh, Delicious Del Mar has octopus, which the Hermans like a lot. People like octopus, and so does uh, the Henners. Who else? What uh, else? Hacienda de Mesilla. Hacienda de Mesilla That's where does you have seafood. I had uh, lobster tacos there. They yeah. were very good. And uh, once again, Dick's Cafe. Seafood, Will huh? somebody tell us what kind of seafood Dick's Cafe has? I mean, if they have fried shrimp. Uh, I'm uh, going to go in there and offer the sole, ask for the sole meunier. <laughs> meunier. 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 Well, they say meunier. You're thinking mayonnaise, oh, which yeah, is pretty so much what it is. Uh, anyway, wineries, ice cream stores, martial arts, uh, chiropractor. Anybody who's got questions about where to go, take a look at the results in uh, the Sun News. This lists only three fine dining restaurants, Double Eagle, Hacienda, De Masia, and St. Clair. Can you think of any others? Yes. Uh, would Savoy be one of those? Uh, salute would be sort of... Salute, salute that's salute what is, I meant to say. Salute, well, yeah, Salute is where Savoy used to yes. be. Yes. Um, but also Sunset Grill. Sunset, Sunset Grill? Grill has I had a rocky few years, but I think it's back on focus. Okay. So. Is that about it? For fine dining? Uh, for fine dining, I go to uh, Red Lobster. No, you don't. I do. Fine dining? Yes, because they have a good uh, trout. They have lobster all the time because they're called that. I would hope so. I mean, if you want lobster, that comes out good. You know, it's not like it's made out of plastic, yeah. which you think it might be. Uh, what else for fine dining? There's plenty of places. Fine. There's uh, Stonewood. What's that? Oh, that's in El Paso. Oh. There's uh, Ruth's Chris. Uh, <laughs> there's there's Anson Eleven. I would. Uh, Cafe Central. Ca are you call Ruth's Chris fine dining? Oh, man, do I? That's a, that's a chain restaurant. They don't count. You know, I don't know why you think a chain restaurant has worse food than somebody who has to go grub along with small purveyors like Cisco to get their food. Rather than, you know, everybody who makes a restaurant gets their food from somebody <clears throat> who is yes. a mega chain. Everybody. I mean, Cisco is Dick's supply. Cafe? No, they get, it from, uh, they get it from out back. They do that. So we're going to take a break now and go to Dick's Cafe to get your favorite huevos rancheros. And uh, we're, we've got our, our... They're not as good as they used to be. They they're our, very watery. And we have our martini surprise coming we in We do have the our break. martini surprise, so... We'll be right back. Hold tight. Mm. Everybody wants cheap airfare. 
But where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call now. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business. According to the secret war, banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get the secret war free. Call the number on your screen or visit online. This is a national health care alert from the Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one suffers from knee pain and have Medicare as your primary insurance, we've got great news. You could qualify for a pain-relieving knee brace at little or no cost to you. Get free delivery, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers at no charge to you. We also have other pain-relieving braces available for shoulder, ankle, and your back. Call the number on your screen right now to immediately receive a pain-relieving brace at little or no cost. And we're back. This is Double Talk. I'm Michael Mandel, and you know I'm Mark Steffen, and I'm is that who you are? I'm sorry to say that Dick's that uh, Jake's Jake's didn't get in. Burgers did not get into this. Maybe the reason is they've only been around like three months in Las Cruces. Yes, but that's but, where you voted. Right, but I, you know, I got to think they're a hamburger joint. Dick's Cafe isn't. Yeah, Dick's Cafe made it in. Dick's hamburgers. Cafe got in for everything, probably even spaghetti and meatballs. Is there a spaghetti <laughs> and meatballs thing? Well, there's Italian. Oh, there's Italian. So this is a special treat, <laughs> and there's a story behind this, but you're not going to hear it. Um, Van Gogh's or Van Gogh's chocolate, Dutch chocolate uh, vodka. Vodka. I know you're against Dutch flavored chocolate. vodkas. Well, the Dutch know how to make their chocolate, don't That's they? That's true. And Van Gogh was was Dutch. Or at least he had his brother pay for him. Um, yes, and... Uh, and, it, let's see. And... So you're doing one and a half? I'm going to do the same mixture as before. You're going to mix it with these the same way? Yes, I am. Oh, uh, my word. So I know you don't like flavored ones, but... Well, fla let, me, let me taste it before fla you... Flavor with more before flavor. Before you bespoil it or dispoil it. And one of the reasons I'm not adverse to this is because we're at a... It's got a chocolatey. Yeah, it's chocolatey. It's a kicker no, chocolate dude. thing, man. That's fine the way it is. Too opinion. bad. It's our job to explore and experiment That's with true. new things. If you That's, can't do it on this show, where can you do yes. it? Yes. Oh, it's this one. Where can you do it? You wouldn't sit home sitting around drinking Dutch chocolate no. uh, vodka and mixing is, it with everything in the pantry. This is the only place you'll see this. Anywhere. That's right. It's this is what talk. keeps me from being a total alcoholic is... Uh, I limit my experimentation to in front of the camera. Yeah, we just taste. We don't drink. We just sample. We never drink. We're samplers. Yes. We're sampler totalers. <laughs> we have a teetotalers? You have enough samples. Is this the one, martini? Oh, yes. And uh, right. <clears throat> so did you make up this recipe? Is this you? No, this is the perfect martini. And I decided, you know, the taste of vermouth is kind of heavy, <clears throat> right? No, I mean the chocolate version. Did you make that version up? Well, uh, just with now. Two, with the two vermouths and a chocolate vodka? That's your... Yes, yes. I, I'm thinking, why not? So we, you know, you're sitting uh, we were first. sitting around in a bar in Provincetown, and uh, these guys were drinking uh, coffee martinis. Yes. And they weren't that bad. And they're all, you know, you think coffee martini would be cocoa colored or something. They were all clear. This is a chocolate vodka, yet it's totally clear. Well, chocolate flavored. Well, yeah, but I'm sure it's pretty authentic flavoring. Van Gogh is a pretty good uh, 
vodka. They wouldn't go behind our backs and give us something subpar. No. And this this does look chocolatier. Well, not really. Just slightly amber. And I'm thinking the flavors might work together. Well, let's see. Well, let's see. Skull. That's better than with the vodka. I think it is. Arguably. No, no, I think it I, is. I taste that chocolate. You taste the chocolate. The chocolate's overwhelming. I can they, do without this and just have this. I think. No, no, I'm the thinking the sweet vermouth and the and the chocolate vodka no, no, work very well you together. Know, if anybody was watching this show, they noticed I put in more dry vermouth in the middle of the last drink, which I'm doing now because it opens it up, opens the flavor up, and uh, maybe you know, and a a bit of uh, garnish, garnish of lemon or lime. Twist, or, twist. or some clove or some some Christmas some, spices. Some broccoli, whatever yes. you like. You know, this isn't bad at all, and I think it's because the chocolate vodka is pretty darn good. Do they have a coconut vodka? Yeah, I think they do. They have everything. Remember a couple of years ago we tried, I bought a bottle of whipped cream vodka? Oh, yeah. And we did it with orange juice, so it was like a creamsicle. Well, we have the miniatures of the, of the multi-flavored ones. Well, we do. We had six of them. No, but I had bought a solid bottle of yeah, but you still I still have, have it. it. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we get to do these shows. All the leftovers in my... Because nobody likes pantry. that, do they? Well, they do, but I force them to like other things. How much can you drink of that stuff? Flavored vodka? You know, there is a big market for flavored vodka. If you look at the stores, they're all selling... I know. Everybody who sells vodka has at least six flavors. Well, that's the great thing about America. You can put out something that nobody else has put out yet and probably do well. <clears throat> look at this show. Yes, we're doing well. We're putting out a show that nobody else is doing in town. Yes, We've I can't even get the these. For eight years. I'm going to get these caps right here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we are the best uh, talk show in Las Cruces. That's true. Uh, yeah. Even though that's not on the best of Las Cruces, well, because no nobody could uh, run against us. Absolutely nobody. We're unparalleled. Yes. You smell something burning? No. I don't. Oh, okay. Well, what's next? Oh, we want to tell you about things that are happening around town. And this week, there's not much happening. I think it's supposed to give people a time to dry out. Well, the new year did you is make any, us. Did you make any resolutions? Yes, we talked about it on the show last week. Yes, but what did you actually come across and d did? I resolved not to make a resolution. Is that it? And to actually still appear every week on the show, unlike you. <laughs> well, you know, I never resolved that, so. <laughs> oh. our, our yoga teacher uh, on Thursday said, uh, and that was the fourth of the month. She said, it's the fourth of the month. Everybody can give up their uh, resolutions. And so you could see resolutions shedding just, by every person. And everybody just get a going, big oh, sigh of relief. God, thank God. Well, nobody expects you to keep a resolution no. anyway, Mike. So why make them in the first place? Uh, because it's a relief to say something and then back down on it. <clears throat> okay. Remember that money I was going to loan you? Well, there's always a slim chance that you might actually follow through. You. What? <laughs> You've been drinking too much chocolate <laughs> <and> vodka. <clears throat> oh, yes. Well, hey, you know. Um, you're looking like a gangster, you know. Look at that. With your ooh. dark uh, shirt. Uh, you know, we, we, we have recycling centers around town. and um, Is it called my there's two liquor cabinet? Well, no, but you can recycle all these liquor bottles. I do. Uh, you can recycle green bottles, clear bottles, amber bottles. Amber bottles for beer, mostly. And this bottle, which and green is... Bottles. Either clear or slightly green. And green. It green, on what's clear, the amber. And, um, I had a blue and bottle. Blue. blue isn't a separate thing. You can only do blue up on a Sonoma Ranch one. Right. And I went up there the other day, and every bin was full. You couldn't leave anything. I, I wonder what that's set from. it down there. Now, that's somebody's resolution. We're getting rid of these bottles as soon as we drink them. The newspaper bins and, and cardboard were full. Couldn't leave anything inside. Now, the, the other recycling center, which is the one I normally use, down at where uh, Amador dead ends at the uh, sewer plant. <laughs> the sewer plant, yes. yes, the garbage plant. That's where I usually recycle. Now, they have stopped taking plastic bags for recycling. You know the plastic grocery bags? They no longer take those. But uh, Walmart does and Target does. And Albertsons does. Well, Albertsons has always done that. So you think if those people could do it, why can't the city continue to do it? You know, they all, what they do is people come and give them supplies. When they give them supplies, the stores, Albertsons, Target, and Walmart. Yes. They have empty trucks. They take back recycling back to their central thing. Their central thing could be anywhere. Arizona. Well. That's anywhere. Texas. I like this recycling center, but they've stopped taking plastic bags. And another thing that bothers me. Yeah, tell me about it. They close at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And Anchor's I, hours. I once showed up about eight minutes to four, and they'd already closed the gates. Well, I'm pissed. 
You would think you were. I, I, over there with, time I, I went over there with a car full of recyclables that I had to hold on to till the weekend was over. Oh, man. You should plan better. Don't. Well, they're open till 4. I got there before 4, and they were closed. What I'm upset about is, and those of Michael's you who are on my Facebook page will see, I have a sculpture of all the styrofoam containers I get when I get wine deliveries. Oh, yeah? Yes. What you, you, obviously, you never look on my page. Nobody, nobody, you can't recycle those either. No, you used to be able to. Yeah. Remember, be hot pine wine. That was cool. But that's because that was a plant that's where they made, that the made styrofoam. Yeah. And apparently, you could chop up old styrofoam and use it 30% uh, of the old styrofoam in new styrofoam. And now it just goes to the landfill. And styrofoam takes up as much space as anything without being anything. Well, once it disintegrates, it's in fine particles blowing through the desert. Choking pelicans and pigeons yes. and sparrows. It's really but, toxic and it doesn't break down. You know, it just stays there. Not like we do. Oh, yes. now, recycling. Also, what's that? You can now recycle your Christmas trees. Oh, yes. And that's going on right now. You can take your Christmas trees. Really? You know, I don't think very much of that. You can take your Christmas trees 8 o'clock to, to 4 o'clock, Monday through Friday. Hey, did you know that? Up you to take it all the way to 4 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. All the way to 4 o'clock. If you get there 8 to 4, yeah. and you there. Also, <clears throat> well, there's no gate over there No. for recycling. And on Saturday, 9 to 3. <clears throat> so, okay, we got to So recycle your green, <laughs> your real Christmas trees, not the plastic ones. No. It's got to be, the, be horrible. the green Christmas trees. You know, They're very wants, flammable, too. Nobody so. wants plastic mulch. Be careful of uh, lighting fires so there. We have how many, how many so, minutes? What? You gave us how many minutes? One minute. Uh, LCCT, the Las Cruz Community Theater, is doing auditions for... An enemy of the people. And they need a lot of... Uh, a lot of guys. Middle-aged guys, guys. His age. That's right. So now, it's a very timely play. It's about uh, fake news, uh, muzzling the, the press, uh, political corruption. What are you uh, referring to? An enemy of the people. Oh, I thought you were referring it's a very to timely modern time. times. Yeah, that's why it's very timely. It's a political thing. It is. Uh, so come on down and audition for it. Saturday at 3 o'clock. Which means today at 3 o'clock, unless yep. you were looking at this on on the yep. YouTube, which Saturday. means we don't know when you're going to do it. This Saturday at 3 o'clock. Come on down to July, January 6th. Las Cruces Community Theater. Yeah. Uh, one of our most esteemed uh, places in Las Cruces. We're so, all for all the theaters. Hey, did you know that New Mexico is third in oil production? What? Are third we third in, in uh, the intelligence of our students? No, we're not. Are we third in the amount of money our people make? No, we're usually last in everything, but oh, we're yeah, third, in oil, third in oil production. Well, you know, here's to Steve Pierce. No, it's not because of him. Well, he has a, he so, does oil. We got to go. We're out of time, folks. And see, I gave a compliment to Steve Pierce. This is perfect for